Simply Elegant, where I will show you how to create elegant foods that are very cost effective and simple to make. Today I am going to prepare for you guys tonkatsu, which translates into pork cutlet. It's a traditional Korean dish that I used to eat growing up and it still is one of my favorite dishes to this very day. Traditionally, donkatsu is served over a bed of iceberg lettuce that is shredded and a side of white rice. So to start off, I am going to start chopping some iceberg lettuce. Now usually, we like to use iceberg or romaine lettuce and shred it. But I do not have a shredder today, so I'm just going to be chopping it using my chef's knife. Same difference, right? Okay, so that looks like it's enough. So I am going to reserve this to the side. Now, additionally, like I said, donkatsu is served with a side of steamed white rice. I already have some rice that is going. It is simply one cup of rice and one cup of water. I let this simmer for 20 minutes and it looks like it's coming together. So I am going to turn the heat off and let that sit for a little bit while we finish the rest of our food. Now we are going to start the breading process of the donkatsu fried pork cutlet. Any traditional breading process consists of three parts. The first part is flour. So, I am going to get half a cup of flour into a dish. It is important to remember to season every aspect of the cooking process so that no flavor is lost. So I'm going to season a little bit of sea salt a little bit of black pepper. And I like to add a little bit of garlic powder. I would say a quarter teaspoon would do. You can also feel free to add a little bit of, of paprika or cayenne pepper if you want a little bit of heat or smokiness. So just give this a little stir. And the first part is ready. Now for the second part, we are going to crack two eggs. One and two. You can also thin it out with a little bit of milk, but I think the two eggs for today will be sufficient. Use a fork or a whisk. and whisk away. The third and final aspect of our breading station is the panko. Now the panko is a Japanese style breadcrumb that's very crispy and crunchy when fried. If you cannot find panko, then you can use Italian style breadcrumbs or plain breadcrumbs, but make sure you season them with salt, pepper, and a few herbs as well. However, I have been finding panko breadcrumbs in a lot of American supermarkets recently. So it should be pretty easy to find. So, okay. Just put some panko, I would say a cup to start off. And we can always add some more afterwards. Before we start breading the actual pork cutlets, I want to start heating up some vegetable oil. So I am going to be putting a little bit of oil. I would say about a half inch into a frying pan. And we're gonna start heating it up on a medium temperature. So I have some pork cutlets that I got for $1.79 and it's for five big pieces, which is not a bad price at all. So we're going to open this up And we're going to start by putting one piece into the flour. And 
gently pat some flour into it, shake off any excess. Then you are going to put it into the egg. Remember, you can always thin out the egg if you need a little bit extra with some milk. Last but not least, you're going to put it into your breadcrumbs. Make sure you guys are patting it down. So, pat it into the flour. Remember, we season this with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Shake off any excess flour into the eggs. Shake off any excess egg and into the breadcrumbs. Pat the breadcrumbs down. Shake off any excess and down here. I am going to finish the rest of these pork cutlets and when we return, I'll show you guys the frying process. Welcome back to Simply Elegance. Today I was preparing for you guys tonkatsu, which is in Korean translation, pork cutlet. Right here, as you can see, I have my pork cutlets that are breaded. We put it through some flour that we season with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. We put it through an egg wash and finally some Japanese style breadcrumbs called panko. The oil has been heating up, so we are getting ready to put our pork in. As you can see, it is starting to bubble around, which means it is the perfect temperature. You don't want the oil to be too hot because then the pork will not cook thoroughly and the breading will burn. So we're just going to cook this for a few minutes on each side and I will show you guys what it looks like when it's about to turn over. Hello and welcome back to Simply Elegant. Today we were preparing tonkatsu which is a Korean traditional pork cutlet dish. As you can see here I've been frying some of the pork cutlets I've been frying on each side for about three minutes and you can tell that there's a deep golden brown color. So these are ready to come out. While we are finishing up the last pork cutlet, I'm going to show you how to plate this. So. We have some steamed white rice. Mmm. Remember, it's just equal parts water and rice. So I did one cup of each for a serving of two. Okay. Next, we are going to put some salad. Don't worry, my hands are clean. <laughs> Last but not least, we are going to slice up one of our pork cutlets. You see that dark golden brown color? That's perfect. So it's really easy to make, you guys, and it's very cheap to make as well. The flour, the breadcrumbs, all very simple and cheap. And the meat was only $1.97 for like five pieces. So it's really not that bad. And it took us less than 15 minutes to make, I would say. Just gonna pretty that up a little bit. Now, you might be thinking, where is the dressing? There is a special sauce just for this meal called katsu sauce, which is essentially it's very similar to barbecue sauce. It's a little bit more savory and less sweet. But if you can't find this in your local Asian or American market, feel free to use your favorite barbecue sauce. But I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of this. If 
by a little I mean a lot. <laughs> then we're gonna give this a taste. You want to see that up close? Very delicious. Let's see. Some white sticky rice. Mm. Mm. It tastes just the same as when I was growing up. Very crispy, very delicious. And it has a nice sweet and savory taste due to the katsu sauce. The salad is a nice bed, a refreshing aftertaste. Very good. I definitely recommend you guys try making this meal. It's very affordable, very simple to make, very time efficient. You can make some of these pork cutlets and put it in a freezer for the following day or few days but yeah thank you guys for watching my show my name is Gino and I hope you return to watch again